Over 400 years ago, the adventurous Portuguese explorers who discovered and claimed Brazil for the crown of Portugal sailed into this picturesque harbor and called it Rio de Janeiro, or River of January, because they discovered it in the month of January, and they believed the beautiful inlet into which we now sail was the mouth of a river. As we pass within the shadow of this gigantic promontory known as Sugarloaf, we wonder if the white men who first saw it could have dreamed that it was destined to become the mighty sentinel of an enchanted metropolis with a population of over a million inhabitants and a reputation of being the most magnificent city in the world. Passenger ships arriving at Rio today literally tie up at the foot of Main Street and immediately become a picturesque part of the skyline, as well as a convenient point of egress to the city itself. Rio de Janeiro is not a manufacturing city. Therefore, there is a preponderance of foreign goods on sale in all the smart shops. Nevertheless, foreign influence has not changed the strong allegiance which the Brazilians have for their native continent. They proudly proclaim themselves South Americans, and they very much resent the North Americans' alleged monopoly of the word American. The period from 1902 to 1906 witnessed the wonderful transformation from the old to the new Rio, a comprehensive project so boldly conceived and brilliantly executed that there is hardly a landmark of the old city to be seen in the metropolis today. The most unique feature of the clean and spacious streets is the decorative mosaic work that adorns the sidewalks. Almost every block has a pavement with patterns so individual in design that one could find his way about the city by becoming familiar with them. Thank you. 